Hi, this is Yara Stark here from Blog Mastermind again. I have another uh, member of the Blog Mastermind program. It's Mwangi, who is uh, otherwise known as the Displaced African, I believe. And he'll tell us a bit about his blog. So, Mwangi, thank you for jumping on the call with me. And uh, first, tell us about your blog. Um, the Displaced African is pretty much a blog I started around December. And the reason I started it is, is because um, I live in Melbourne, Australia at the moment. And um, I've been an immigrant for six years, and when I first came here, there was no blog or no online resource for immigrants, you know, places where you can get guidance on, um, on, anything, pretty mu on anything pretty much about the immigrant experience. So I decided in December that um, the best thing that I could do in my life would, would be just, just start up a blog and create a resource where Africans can go and just get information on everything, relationships, health, money, anything that has to do with the human experience as an immigrant. So that's, in a nutshell, what the Displaced African is all about. Very nice. So how come did you, you made the decision to take part in Blog Mastermind? I take it you did this after you started the blog already, right? No, actually I didn't. Oh, okay. um, what happened was um, I had, um, in, in June, I went through, I mean, I'm a pretty young guy, so I don't know what I'd call it, a, a crisis, a quarter of life crisis or whatever. So pretty much then I just started reevaluating things in life. And um, what happened is I was actually listening to um, an interview with Stephen Pierce where he said, like, um, you could really make money using this thing called access. So I just thought to myself, in the middle of all this, let me start up a blog, let me become financially free by AdSense, by AdSense. So I saw, I, that's how, that was the first blog I ever started for commercial reasons, um, which was a blog which was entitled A Million Dollars by January the 7th, 2008.blogspot.com, <laughs> which is pretty much exactly as the title said, I wanted to make a million dollars by, the, by my next birthday, which was on January the 7th. So anyway, what happened was um, I started doing that, and as I was doing that, I, I was pretty much trying to figure out like what, how would I become financially free, how would I become financially free. So um, I joined Stephen Pierce's uh, membership group, and I joined also a group by a guy called Jay Abraham, and around the same time I joined uh, the blog Mastermind. So what happened is um, Jay Abraham, he, like in the first month, he has this thing where he asks you, like um, he's very much about... Um, you probably know um, about you know preeminence and making sure that whatever you do brings value to people's lives. So in short, one of the ideas that he gave was like, how do you think you give the most value? And I'm like, I'm an immigrant. I didn't, and I don't. There was no, um, there's no resource for immigrants. So I thought to myself that the best way to go about it would be to create a blog, not necessarily even for commercial reasons, but just because it would, in the long run, to be the most meaningful thing for me to do would be to create a resource which talks about my experience, all my failings, and use that to help other people over, you know, I make mistakes that you don't have to. So that is a very long way of describing how I pretty much ended up um, starting up the Displaced African. It sort of through first Stephen Pierce, then Jay Abraham, then to Blog Mastermind. Okay, wow. Quite a journey. All right. So <laughs> I, I can see and the connection long, there. Longer. So you learned about <laughs> blogging and then found the program specifically tailored to blogging, which is Blog Mastermind. So that's interesting because I, I, I do know Jay Abraham yes. um, quite well, not personally, but yeah, I know his training material. So, okay. So tell us then yes. now that you've you know taken part in some of the lessons, I know you're, you're only partway through the program at the moment. Can you maybe yes. re recount the story of a technique that you learned from the lessons or from any of the other materials and then how you applied that to your blog and what kind of results you got as well? Um, in short, um, any success I've pretty much had with the blog has been as a result of stuff that I learned from the lesson. So, um, like, uh, let's see, what would I say? Uh, setting up the blog, and one thing that has been very crucial is um, outsourcing. I'm learning about getting, like, I'm going to place, like, Wintercoda to get um, technicians to work on your site. Because I remember, like, I was, I was even in the program, there was one time that I had to work on, I think, there was something wrong with my with my screen with my homepage or something of the sort. So I went I went and tried to figure it out on my own and I actually spent I think two days and it was only like a little tiny little thing. And when I actually got someone technical to just look at it, they actually managed to solve it in like about ten minutes. <laughs> so like I think overall <laughs> in terms of time, just that one tip about um pretty much not um, focusing, in fact, the 80-20 thing, focus only on marketing and creating content, that's it. And that that alone has been huge, absolutely huge. I don't think my blog would be where it would be because I've spent way too much time on the nitty-gritty, thinking that I'm moving somewhere because I'm fixing and making things look nice and playing with my design because I'm a very visual person. So um, that is definitely one, I mean, I can go on and on, but that is definitely one of the big, big, <laughs> crucial things. Okay, great. So just to wrap it up then, Mwangi, what would be your opinion of 
the type of person who was ideally suited for the program since you obviously made the decision quite recently to join it? Um, anyone who has something to say that's of value to other people will pretty much be the type of person who should join Blog Mastermind because you pretty much learn how to uh, use blogging as your tool for communication and getting it to as many people as possible. So I'd just say if you have something to say and you want to say it, join Blog Mastermind. All right, that sounds really good. Thank you, Mungi, for taking the time to do this, and I, yeah, you know, wish you good luck with your blog's growth. And obviously, I'm I'm keeping track with you in the forums almost on a daily basis. I think so. Uh, <laughs> good to speak to you in person. I, I'm always there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for doing that. No problem. No problem.